Good morning, everybody. Thank you all so much uh, uh, for coming out here. We've got to have flexibility, so we move it inside and make everything happen. But boy, it has been a long time to get us to this point here today, and that's why you see so many smiley faces around here to officially launch Louisville's bike share program, Lou Velo. We told you last month that uh, Lou Velo was coming, and now it's here and ready to roll on the streets. Uh, I love the name. You know, so in a city named after a French uh, king, King Louis, we borrowed the French word for bicycle, Velo, to come up with Lou Velo. So we have our own distinct brand here in our city. And our goal is to have a network, if you will, of bikes across the city so that you can move around. So we're starting off uh, significantly larger than most cities with 305 bikes across 27 stations so you can get around uh, the core of the central business district and reaching out to our edge neighborhoods as well. So it's not just downtown. Uh, with Lou Velo, you can uh, cruise anywhere as long as you bring the bike back, but we have stations in Butchertown, New Lou, Old Louisville, and points in between as well. So you can th think about lots of ways to use that. Just as I walked in my office here this morning, uh, one of our ladies in the office is just uh, very excited because she says, I can't wait to just jump on the bike and go to lunch somewhere. So people are already thinking about this, but when you think about the amount of students that we have, in the corridor from the University of Louisville, Spalding, Simmons College, JCTC, et cetera, uh, that we're going to see a lot of usage there as well. We'll see downtown workers cruising around as well. And then uh, a friend of mine, the former mayor of uh, Salt Lake City, uh, is in town for two days doing some research here, and he asked about our bike share program, and uh, he's going to be jumping on it here this morning as well. So we'll be seeing a lot of visitors taking in the sites with Lou Velo as well. So it's been uh, long awaited, and we wanted to do this right. When we started looking at it, there were still some questions on bike share programs around the world in terms of who the best operators are to work with, what the best way to, uh, sep or to figure out the logistics of your bike sharing program as well. So it has been uh, a little while coming together, probably a little longer than we want, but we wanted to be really clear on how our bike sharing program tied together quite a few of the goals that we have for our city from quality of life, uh, transportation, sustainability, wellness, air quality, uh, talent attraction, and retention as well. So Lou, Lou Velo is all part of that and part of our Move Louisville uh, long-term transportation plan. So when you go to any city that's on the move, and clearly uh, in Louisville we've got huge momentum right now and our city's got a tremendous buzz all around the world in terms of the kind of this city that's breaking out with opportunity, you go to any city like this, you will see what we call in this business multimodal transportation. In other words, if you want to walk, you got good sidewalks. If you want public transportation, you've got that. You can go by car as well. But you also have to have adequate bike infrastructure, not just on the roads and in our parks and dedicated uh, uh, venues like uh, cyclocross or mountain biking, but on street as well. And then bike sharing is a big part of that as well to add that extra flexibility. So. For people that are still questioning, you know, why do uh, cars have to share the road with bikes and all that, that really is a kind of a view of, you know, multiple decades ago. Uh, the view going forward is that we all share uh, the roads and sidewalks in a safe manner. We call that complete streets. So it's really for all of us to kind of accommodate to that new reality. And of course, with all of the development going on downtown in our edge neighborhoods, we have a lot of people moving downtown either want to downsize from two cars to one car or no car at all. So it's important that we have all these different options for people to get around. Now, we could not be here uh, today without the help of our local business community who really stepped up to be sponsors of this program. Uh, these companies include Norton Healthcare, Genscape, Main and Clay, Atria Senior Living, the Eye Care Institute, Kentucky One, UPS, J.P. Morgan Chase, in the Brown Hotel. So it really took a lot of folks coming together to make this happen. So let's give these great companies a, a round of applause. Good job. I love it because everybody's got a little ownership uh, in this. J.P. Morgan Chase, Duffy just ran up and said, you know, that's our bike station right up from, look how proud he is over here, <laughs> shaking that. And I, and I love that he kind of wore almost a little purplish in his tie because purple is the company color of ComputerShare. And ComputerShare has been such a dynamic uh, 
addition to the Louisville business scene. This is Steve Rothblum over here. Steve is the CEO of ComputerShare. Uh, ComputerShare is in its third year, just the beginning of its third year here in Louisville at over 600 employees now. And when they first came, they said, well, we're going to start and see if we can go have about 200 employees or so. And boy, they've really adopted their new hometown here of Louisville. Uh, they're over on at 4th and Ali in the uh, one of the towers over there, and they're going to continue to grow as well. And this is a company that emphasizes uh, quality of life, employee development, sustainability. So when they heard about the bike share opportunity and the sponsorship opportunities around that, they said, boy, that really fits with who we are and what we want to do. And the, one of the statements that we want to make about our company, that's why you see all these little cool computer share uh, signs on the front of each one of all these bikes. So, Steve, we really appreciate uh, you and all your guys uh, stepping up here in our community, and we just couldn't be happier to have you guys in Louisville, Kentucky. Thank you. It's not easy to start at zero and go to 600 plus employees uh, in a city, and that's and they're going to do more as well. So Alec White, I believe, has had that responsibility of figuring that all out. And Alec came back to town. He was a Louisvillian, but he came back uh, to Louisville to be part of this computer share opportunity. So thank you, Alec. And if you'd like to share a few words with us, I'd appreciate it. Alec White. Thank you, thank you Mayor. Yep. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Um, oh my goodness. Well, be careful with those. <laughs> the very large scissors. So, uh, well, good morning. It's our pleasure to be here, uh, and thank you, Mayor. Um, as as uh, the mayor said, I'm here with Steve Rothblum, who is our uh, U.S. CEO, and Carlos Liero, who is our North American CIO. Um, and so, you know, when we had the opportunity to partner with Lavello, it was just a, a match kind of made in heaven because. Uh, not only as a local employer where we have 600 people and growing, uh, but also as a global employer where we have over 15,000 people um, across 26 countries. These, the characteristics that um, embody Luvelo are important to us organizationally. So um, sustainability and wellness and health and all of those things are super important. So being, you know, having our purple logo on the front of these bikes um, was great for us. Uh, we're proud to be a part. We're proud to be a part of, of Louisville. Um, about two and a half years ago, I joined the organization to uh, head up the recruiting function. And uh, as the mayor said, I've been in Louisville for 14 years, so I'm super proud that both we're bringing these kinds of jobs to the city and that we can be a part of the community in the way that we're doing today. So um, I wanted to uh, give Steve a, a minute to also uh, share a couple of thoughts as well, but thank you for having us. Steve? I'll be very brief. I mean, I just echo um, Alex's comments. Um, this week we have most of our large clients in town for a client event. The mayor spoke at that event yesterday. So we're really committed to Louisville and we, we just love it here and love being part of the community. We do love it to see our logo on there as well. So, and today and tomorrow across the globe is Computer Share Day, which is the 23rd year uh, since we listed. So we're pretty proud of it and I love being here. So it's, it's wonderful. So thank you very much. And thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Steve. Well, when you think about where most of the bikes are, they're right here in District 4. And if you are a Louisvillian and you, if you have been awake over the last uh, six months or so, no, not four months or so, you know that if you're in the home of District 4, you're in the home of Councilwoman Barbara Sexton Smith. So please welcome to the stage Barbara Sexton Smith, Councilwoman. Yes. Thank you, Mayor Fisher, and whenever I see Mayor Fisher, and it seems like it's once or twice a day in the last four months at press conferences, I always say, welcome to District 4, and I didn't know if I could do that in his own home, in his house here today, but he let me do that. You guys, I love the bike share program. You know, this gives us a chance to let more folks get more connected in more ways because a great connected community, that's a place where folks feel connected to safety, connected to health, and connected to education. And that's what we get to do with these bikes. Now, I understand there are 305 of the bikes are going to be out. I learned today that the five are the five red bikes. The red bike moment. We all know the story with Cassius Clay. When he was 12 years old, his red bike was stolen, and that completely changed his life. 
because there he was, a young boy from Kentucky, who crime was his destiny until someone stole that bike and planted a seed, and then he found his will to succeed, and he found it at that local gym. So I'm going to make a proposal, and if District 4 needs to come up with the funding to help with this, I want six red bikes, and we all know why because Muhammad Ali lived by six core principles. And let's name those six bikes. Confidence, conviction, dedication, giving, respect, and spirituality. So our bike share moment, it is a symbolic and a palpable manifestation of who we are, not just in District 4, but all 26 districts. We have Councilman Bill Hollander here is with me. I don't know if, he, is he going to speak, Mayor? Absolutely. Absolutely, <laughs> yay, okay. So what I would like to do is connect to my fellow councilman in District 9, Councilman Bill Hollander, and invite him to share a few words as well, because he's a true cyclist and a great councilman. Ladies and gentlemen, Councilman Bill Hollander. Well, I just want to thank all the sponsors and computer share and, and reiterate what the mayor said. When you go to progressive cities anywhere around the world, you see a, a, a robust bike share program, and I'm very glad that we're joining that group. Thank you. All right, thank you to our good council folks here. I appreciate you all, most of the time. Okay. <laughs> you two all the time. <laughs> uh, these great bikes are, are provided to us by PBSC. And the representative, Luke Jacou, is here with us today. Luke, where are you? Let's give him a round of applause. Don't these bikes look great? Yeah, they're beautiful bikes. Luke, come on up here, man. He wasn't expecting this. But one of the benefits of us waiting a little bit is to, get to learn from all the other cities and what's been the problems with their bikes. So tell us why these are the best bikes in the world here. Because they were the first bike made uh, available uh, when we start uh, bike sharing and you cannot buy any any better bike uh, system uh, in the world and the key is what i mean obviously durability on these things durability uh, they are easy to use uh, and uh, you know they they last forever and then are they, are they single speed or what's give us a little on you got three speed on it okay on those ones great and you can carry your, your gear up you front here? You can carry your stuff in, in, in front of it. And you also have a singular, secondary lock yeah. where you can take the, the lock and uh, lock Launch it somewhere uh, where uh, you uh, want to st stand for a few minutes. Right. Perfect. So very practical and functional. Yeah. Luke, thanks, buddy. Thank you very much. OK. Yeah. So you got the sponsors, you got the bikes, and you have to have an operator as well. So uh, it was clear to us when taking a look around the world that the best operator out there was a company called CycleHop. Uh, there's a lot of folks that have tried to do this, and because you have some logistical issues with the bikes, obviously. You know, you start the morning with them in one place, and at the end of the day, they're another place that may not meet the demand of the next morning. So you have to have some logistics involved uh, with that. So CycleHop runs bike share programs in cities from Orlando and Tampa in Florida, to Long Beach, Santa Monica, and Beverly Hills, to Vancouver and Ottawa, Canada as well. So I'd like to introduce Matthew Glazer with CycleHop to tell us more about the bike share program and give us a brief demonstration on how it works. Matthew? Well, hello, everyone. <laughs> I got to tell you, I'm so happy and proud to be here today, and I just got to say this first. Thank you, Mayor Fisher, for having me here, and I got to say thank you, Metro Council, for giving me this opportunity. And as the Mayor said, my name is Matthew Glazer. I was hired by CycleHop to be the operator for Luvelo, and I am super proud of that. And as the Mayor said, we are in different North American cities. We're actually 15th city right now. Kentucky is the 15th city, and with that comes a little experience with CycleHop to operate in a city. And why does this really matter to us? Well, I think if you look to your left right now, look to your right and look around, you're going to see family, you're going to see friends, you're going to see colleagues. And I see the same thing when I look out right now. And that's because I'm born and raised here my whole life. And I got to tell you, from living here, I know that we share this city together. We share these roads together. And now we're going to share in Cycle Hop and Luvelo in providing us, Luvillians here, a convenient, healthy, affordable, and really my favorite, a fun way of transportation all around. And I got to tell you, I'm just so happy for it. And with your all's help, this is going to be a huge win for Louisville. And I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. 
And I think we're gonna have a short demo here too, okay? And it's gonna, I think, appear above me. <laughs> thank you all, thank you. Well, thanks uh, to everybody with Lou Velo System. As you can see, it's quite easy to use, so we're uh, anxious to see the amount of use and joy and smiles that it's going to produce for us here in the community. As you can go to louvelo.com to buy a membership, or you can purchase by the ride at the stations as well. And I really want to uh, compliment everybody on how attractive both the bikes are and the stations are as well. I mean, they've got a really solid design behind them, which I think, you know, attracts people to use them as well. So just a great, great job here on the kickoff of this. And I want to thank uh, two guys that have really been instrumental in this over the years uh, with Louisville Metro, Rolf Isinger and Jeff O'Brien. If you guys would raise your hands, please. They've just been uh, fantastic in terms of research, uh, their love for cycling, and just the tenacity to get this done in what's uh, really resulted in a world-class kickoff here today. So thank you all very much for everything you do uh, for the city. Now we're going to have a uh, ribbon cutting, I guess, inside, and we are having it with a uh, computer share purple ribbon, I understand, as well, in honor of our chief sponsor for this. So let's make that happen. This has been a Metro TV production, a public service of Louisville Metro Government.